Thanks, thanks, Michael. Is that close enough? Is that close enough? Audible. Thank you very much. Greetings from the Greens. Refugees are welcome here. In a post-Brexit world, refugees are still welcome here. Of course, we will respect the will of the British people, but we will not respect those elements in across the country who do not respect the rights of people. So at the risk of the British people becoming inhumane, we will not respect that. And that's why we're here to express solidarity with refugees across the world and across the land. Now let me tell you, I was in Calais, the jungle so-called, not so long ago. And it was a very humbling experience to meet with people from Eritrea, from Sudan, from Iraq, from Afghanistan, from Syria. Many of these people, many of these individuals were of course fleeing from our bombs being rained upon them, from our failure of Chilcot inquiry, from our despotic rulers killing people in order to save them. And we're not going to be having anything to do with that any longer. What did I find in those people in the jungle? An extraordinary resilience, an extraordinary community. Yes, many of them wanted to come to the United Kingdom. Where's the crime in that? To meet, to reunite with family members. Yes, many of them wanted to come to this country because guess what? They spoke English. And we should be proud of these people who are contributing to our country, who are fleeing from lands which we are co-responsible for, depriving them of their infrastructure. 20,000 Syrian refugees was Cameron's commitment over the next five years. What is that compared to the millions upon millions who are crossing their border into Turkey, into all those other lands around the conflagration which Blair has caused? What is our co-responsibility as European citizens towards those migrants and refugees? It is a damn sight more than we're doing now. It is unconscionable that we allow the Mediterranean to become an open cemetery. Alan Kurdi, what an unconscionable episode that we have children being cast onto the shores of the Mediterranean. This must not be allowed to continue.